Hello, this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. To see my collection of beautiful rocks and minerals, which I have prospected from across the United States and other countries, type in on YouTube, Rock and Mineral Identification, followed by my name, Frank Riser, space, capital M period, capital S period. Riser is spelled R-E-I-S-E-R. I encourage you to get out there into the field yourself and prospect for those beautiful rocks and minerals. You can learn to do so by watching my videos on geology and rock and mineral prospecting. You can support my channel on Patreon. On Patreon, simply type in my name, Frank Riser, M period, S period, and I appreciate your financial support. Your contributions allow me to buy more materials to bring you fascinating science demonstrations. Today's demonstration is on biology and physics. Bees see in the light and ultraviolet range. Bees pollinate flowers. Bees are attracted to the fluorescent flowers by the ultraviolet radiation fluorescing the flowers from the sun. Bees can see the flowers fluorescing and that's how they are attracted to them. I have purchased flowers and I have a two different types of fluorescent lamps, ultraviolet lamps. One that is near ultraviolet, ultraviolet A, and one that is far ultraviolet, ultraviolet C. So let's take a look to see if the flowers fluoresce under these two different types of ultraviolet light. These are the flowers which I have purchased. Let's take a look at them closely. Here's the dogwood. White with a purple interior. Daisies. Baby's breath. I don't know what many of these flowers are, but they're beautiful and they smell great. Carnations. Here's a rose. Purple daisies. The yellow interior. Let's look at them under UVA, 365 nanometer light, ultraviolet lamp. First, the dogwood. The dogwood's interior, where the pollen is located, is fluorescing. If you can pick it up on the camera, it's fluorescing purple. I'll prove that to you. The interior of the dogwood is purple, but under ultraviolet light A, it turns more purple. Again. The camera's not picking that up well, but I can see it visually with my own eyes very well. And the other flowers.
None of these appear to be fluorescing. Not all flowers do fluoresce. Many do. And we'll look at more. That's not fluorescing. Neither is that. And another bouquet. That's not fluorescing. Neither is that. Although the interior where the pollen is located it is bright yellow, but under ultraviolet light it appears white. It appears orange to my eyes. It's changed color. So it is fluorescing. Now let's examine them under ultraviolet C, 190 nanometers. The rose is fluorescing. It has changed to purple from violet. Now we see these daisies fluorescing. They have changed color to a light blue, yellow interior. That's not fluorescing. And finally, the last bouquet of flowers. That's not fluorescing. Neither are those. They're not fluorescing. That's not fluorescing. And those are also not fluorescing. But many flowers do fluoresce. It depends on the type of flower. We saw two flowers that fluoresced. The dogwood fluoresced under ultraviolet A lamp. And some of the other flowers fluoresced under ultraviolet C lamp. The difference between ultraviolet A and C is that ultraviolet A is closer to the violet spectrum of the light range. Ultraviolet C is further away, shorter in wavelength, and we can see now that B, C in both the fluorescent A and fluorescent C range. And this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals, always reminding you in order to find those beautiful rocks and minerals to keep looking down.